Now, we're uh, talking about a, a new Irish startup. Um, having been a professional athlete for six years, Darren O'Reilly was exposed to many of the best nutritionists in the business, but when he left sports to head for corporate life in London, it became apparent he was struggling to meet his essential nutritional needs while balancing a busy lifestyle. The reality of eating healthily can be both time-consuming and expensive, which ultimately leads, leads to food choices that are cheap and convenient, as we all know, uh, but not necessarily uh, nutritionally good for you. I'm delighted to say Darren O'Reilly is here with us. And um, Darren, good morning to you. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. Thanks so much for having me on this morning, lads. So you've got a, a new company. It's called Whole Sup. Um, before we get to that, tell us about your rugby career, will you? Yeah, absolutely. So I was fortunate enough to be a professional athlete for six years, as you rightly pointed out. I was kind of played underage rugby for Ireland. Got to go to a uh, World Cup, which was amazing. That was obviously a childhood dream. Got to play with some great lads who went on to be extremely successful. Unfortunately, I wasn't as successful as them, so the likes of Ferguson Fadden, Rob Carney, Deb, Deb Toner, etc. Went to the UK when Conor O'Shea took over Harlequins, played there for a season. And then, unfortunately, I had to look at getting what I could classify the real job back, back then and moved into the corporate world. So I transitioned into the corporate world and I had a bit of a shock, if I'm being honest, a culture shock of how difficult it was to eat healthily. It was um, unbelievably time consuming, but also expensive. Um, had a lot of this stuff kind of been looked after for you when you were a professional player? 100%. I'll be honest with you. When we went in, we'd do a weights in the morning, there'd be breakfast, there'd be all your nutrition then, then you'd do a pitch session, then your lunch would be there. The only kind of meal you were kind of looking after at that stage was your dinner. So everything was at hand. And somebody would have given you a bit of advice around that? A hundred percent, yeah. So we had uh, nutritionists and dietitians at hand all the time. They tailored all your nutritional needs. So for me at the time, I was a lot bigger. It was always about kind of keeping size on. For other lads, it was about reducing, etc. So it was all like, very much so tailored to each position. So um, it's like... Um Sandwiches on the go, uh, fast food, uh, ordering whatever it was when you become a, a civilian. Yes, <laughs> when you become a civilian, I like to put that. Um, yeah, so really when I kind of transitioned, as I said, I lost 20 kilos in weight, not uh, not deliberately, I promise you. Uh, it was just from skipping breakfast, grabbing meal deals on the go, which are cheap, convenient, but nutritionally disastrous. I looked around the office and I realised a lot of my friends and my peers were doing the exact same thing. It was just... Uh, it was kind of a collision of uh, education, I think, one, but then also convenience. And that's kind of where Wholesup was born. Uh, myself and Dr. Brian Carson have kind of s set out to simplify complex nutrition. Can I ask, what, what do you mean by nutritionally disastrous? Well, Gary, can you, what, what sort of examples do you have? Okay, good example is, so when you get a meal deal on the go, sometimes you get a three o'clock uh, dip you kind of get a high sugar spike and then you crash. So the reason why that is, is one, they're kind of very sugary or carb heavy. They're not kind of balanced. So what you want to be trying to get from a balanced meal is good fats, carbs, high protein, and then any vitamins and minerals that will kind of sustain you and kind of try to keep that a, a low GI. So basically what that means is food sources that won't give you a high spike like a Mars bar or something like that, which will be slow, longer, outpour, um, outlasting energy. So people are like eating chocolate bars and stuff like you're not talking about a, a sandwich per se. It's like the, the junk food on top of that. Yeah, the junk food on top of that. But then also uh, kind of just grabbing a Tesco meal deal isn't great for you in all honesty, just because it's quite processed and it's kind of kind of a lot of white carbs if, if that makes sense so sandwiches aren't the best no tr in all honesty if i was suggesting um something for people to be eating would be trying to eat more kind of colorful food so salads etc okay and so um what what part of that problem are you trying to fix with holes up yeah so in in a nutshell we're kind of on a mission to simplify complicated nutrition so what we're doing there is bringing together all the best superfoods into one easy wholesome meal so what that means is each serving of whole soup is plant-based the reason why we chose that but it's high in protein so 31 grams of protein <clears throat> excuse me but then it's also packed with your super greens your superfoods as well as good fats and over 30 vitamins and minerals so that it f makes you feel um, full for longer but also it makes you feel great great for your gut health as well as your uh, focus and energy levels 
So, so how does it work? What What is it? So basically at the moment, it's a powder food. So it's a nutrition complete powder food. That's our first product. So how you use it is either put in some water or some some milk, put in two scoops, shake it up, and you can be ready in 30 seconds and you can have it on the go. It suits all lifestyles from amateur athletes to professional athletes to uh, shift worker, office workers. It's We've been fortunate enough to um, fuel a, a lady called Kate uh, Gower. She's an amateur athlete, but she's an extraordinary person. She's after doing 106 back-to-back marathons and broke the world record, was holding down a 40-hour week job. So incredible. So getting up at 5 a.m., doing a marathon, going to work, coming back, getting rest, refueling on holes up, doing it after work. Like, absolutely amazing person. Um, that is uh, definitely putting us to shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, we spent a good while this morning establishing that um, Colm outside is a, a, a five-side footballer and he's particularly interested in how this might apply to him. So, because uh, frequently, you, you know, uh, someone finishes work, gets something on the go, goes to five aside and feels a bit bloated for the first 25 minutes, might have a little tactical puke in the corner. <laughs> um, uh, and this is hopefully going to prevent or help with stuff like that. Yeah, I think we got to, we got to kind of set the scene in, being all, in all honesty. For amateur athletes, it is super difficult to balance work, uh, family life, relationships, and then social life, as well as trying to get their kind of nutritional profile uh, in place. So yes, Wholesome is definitely a solution for this because it's so convenient and you can have it on the go. And probably the best thing for any athlete is kind of preparation. So how do you prep? Looking at like kind of your workload for the week ahead. So if you're playing five aside on a Tuesday and Thursday or if you have a match on a Saturday, is how can you prep the whole week ahead? It is really difficult, I'll be honest with you, from being uh, in a professional environment and then moving into the corporate world. I feel the pain of it and this is one of the reasons why we did bring out Hustle. But it's an absolutely, definitely a product that can support uh either recovery or pre uh, five side. I noticed you re- used the word meal instead of supplement. This is actually, a, you can use this to replace lunch or you can use it to replace a yeah. meal as so opposed abso- to... Yeah, absolutely. So you can use it as a meal on the go or as a recovery shake. So a lot of people are kind of pr- prone to only taking protein directly after a workout because they feel that's the right thing to do. Yes, that's definitely a way of supporting recovery, but what's also really important is that you get healthy fats and you also do get carbs. A lot of people are afraid of carbs. Everybody thinks carbs are their enemy when really it's what fuels you. So you kind of need to get that kind of complete profile and balanced nutrition. Um, what's the startup world like compared to uh, being in a full-time professional rugby environment? Uh, there's a lot of grey hairs here, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's amazing. Loads of challenges, but really enjoying it. We launched at, kind of soft launch at the end of February. Uh, we're currently shipping in the UK and Ireland. We shipped over 10,000 meals throughout the UK and Ireland. Our short-term goal now is to open up Europe and then after that bring out additional products. Thankfully, our team is growing. Um, as I was saying, uh, my, my co-founder is Dr. Brian Carson. So he He's a senior lecturer then in, in, in University College Limerick. He's kind of the brains behind the science, I'll be honest with you. Um, my, my background was all around digital marketing and bringing clients international and helping them acquire com- uh, customers. So we kind of have a nice synergy as well. And he's also heavily involved in Gaelic football. So you've got the Gaelic football and the rugby markets. And, and obviously the UK is, is kind of the, the, the big, um, you know, that's the, the, the white whale. And how's it going there? Yeah, it's going really well. So we're kind of have a 60% uh, sale rate in the UK. As you said, it kind of is a bit of a, a white whale just because there's 65 million people there. They generally are a little quicker to adopt new products because they're, they're exposed to a lot more. Uh, in Ireland, we're getting lots of support from some great people here in regards to other athletes, but then other people willing to kind of support startups. Um, there's a really good... Um, community here that want people to succeed which is great from the likes of Enterprise Ireland etc they're really helpful um, w- one last bit there when you said the product soft launched in um, March how long had it been in gestation before that so uh, <laughs> like two and a half years so right. we so we went through this at the start of uh, COVID and trying to do a kind of new product development during that period is unbelievably difficult because you're not able to go into the factory you're getting samples sent you're trying to like I never actually thought about this when we were 
launching the product is about kind of the texture in your mouth, how it feels, everything like that. So I'll actually give quite a funny story. When we were doing the kind of a new product development, they say your family is um, your, your kindest critic. So we kind of went and do, sent out a few samples to the family. And my mum tasted it and we were kind of doing blind scoring. And the first score, she was like, this is the very first one, just remember this two and a half years ago. And she gave zero out of 10. I was like, Jesus, mum, thanks. <laughs> but thankfully it's up to a good nine out of 10 in her opinion. And she's in the later age category. So <laughs> it was funny at the time. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Tiernan always says, sometimes a wife can be your harshest critic. Sometimes your ma can be your harshest critic. Yeah, out. clearly at this point. <laughs> so listen, if anybody wants any more information, Hulse Up on Twitter, is that the best way? Yeah, or on our Instagram handle, uh, which is Hulse Up as well, or HulseUp.com as well. Um, you're able to jump on. Um, and meals are as low as two, on, two euros and nine uh, cents. So really good value. We're looking to be as sustainable as we can. So all our ingredients are sustainably sourced. Our packaging is home compostable. We're, we're on a mission to become a certified B Corp. We'll be one of the first five or six in Ireland to do that. And uh, by the end of the year, we'll be certified B Corp pending, which is pretty huge for a startup. Okay, well, listen, we wish you the very best of luck with this. Um, it's always interesting to see where people go after their full time professional careers. And, uh, you know, it's clear that people are very concerned about where their food is coming from, what they're putting in their bodies, and um, convenience too. So, best of luck with it. Yeah, I really appreciate you having me on, lads. Thanks so much. No worries. So, W H O L E S U P P, you can get that on uh, Twitter and on Instagram as well. Darren, thanks very much.